Imagine this, it's July 2023, and we've been waiting for months for a rainstorm. It's been hot, dry, and overall horrible for the last several months. And then, finally, I scramble to my car, sprint down to southern Arizona to try and collect as many ant queens as possible. This first night of rain is so important, as all the species have been waiting and waiting for months to release their elates. So, will I be successful, or will I get rained out? Will the ants not fly, and will my hopes and dreams be crushed forever? All right, we are pulling up to our first stop, Madera Canyon. There was a rattlesnake on the road, but unfortunately he got off before I was able to get a video or a picture of him. Uh, it was just a western diamondback, so nothing special, but would have been cool to see up close. Uh, regardless, I'm driving kind of slow in case another snake decides to show up on the road. If not, we're going to start blacklighting right away and looking around for bugs. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is crazy. It is ridiculously stormy. You'll probably see some lightning and stuff, but where I'm standing right now, it is kind of barely sprinkling. And so I'm trying, there's a bunch of Nova Messer Queens running around. I got five so far in just like one minute. And so I'm gonna try and collect as many of these queens as possible before any more storm rolls in and I get rained out. Unfortunately, it's too windy to blacklight. Absolutely nothing is showing up, but it seems that Nova Messer have already flown. There's one. And so I can still catch queens despite the fact that nothing is actively flying which is pretty nice. Let's hope we get lots of queens and some other cool stuff as well running around. As it turns out, lots of queens would be the understatement of the year. This night was absolutely insane. So the good news is, I think the storm may be missing me because it was sprinkling and now it's not and the lightning and thunder seems like it's getting further away. But I'm gonna stay right here because there are lots of Nova Messer Queens out and about. Look at this. Oh, I got two in, oh, well, one, two, three Queens just right there. Of course, the bucket is just for collecting. I will separate them all out uh, later. They won't fight for the time being they tolerate each other for a while. Quite a bit of a Dontomachus desertorum down here. Would love to get a queen of these. They fly at night, so if they flew tonight, there should be queens out. Just gotta look hard. Wow, that was kind of terrifying. I am very close to this rattlesnake. Um, I know, I have a book in my car that tells me how to tell the difference, and I don't remember. But, it's just, he's just right there cruising, he doesn't even care about me. Obviously, otherwise he would have been rattling. But I am, I mean, I'm probably just out of strike distance of this guy, and I was just walking and he was just cruising. <laughs> Guess that just shows you how aggressive rattlesnakes are. The answer is, uh, not very. <laughs> Just found this male desert blondie running around. Look at him. Pretty neat, huh? Of course the most common tarantula in Arizona, but also arguably the prettiest and yeah, still a big tarantula. Oh, well, he's not like that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, the Nova Messer Queens have kind of fallen off. I'm starting to walk back to where I started, but on the other side of the road. However, good news is I got a native Tetramorium Queen and an Odontomachus Desertorum Queen, which I am so happy about. I used to have a colony, they died, and I've been wanting them since. And so the fact that I got a queen is very exciting. Of course, I would like to get a few more just to have some insurance in case some of them die for no reason as ant queens do. 
That way I can be sure that I'll get a healthy colony. But one queen is certainly better than zero. So uh, let's keep searching because they flew. And fly they did. That first queen would certainly not be the last of the night. All right, guys, Odontomachus number three. Just like that. Finally, guys, it took freaking forever. But they got a fourth Odontomachus desertorum queen. And probably saw, well, she wasn't freaking out for one second that she got that bigger thorax. Uh, I've just been busy collecting Nova Messer Queens. I have a ton, and I haven't seen any more Odontomachus until just now, but very excited about that. Four is really pretty good. So here's all of the non Nova Messer Coccarelli that we found. There's one Tetramorium, two Nova Messer Albicitosis, and four Odontomachus Desertorum. It's like all the Desertorum are drinking water. Guys, it downpoured today. You should not be this thirsty. But, I guess it's a good thing I decided to give them water tubes, huh? And then here are all the Novo Messer Coccarelli. There's a few. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tube all these guys tomorrow because it's 1 a.m. And I'd like to have some light while I'm making test tube setups. So I'm just going to throw a couple of wet cotton balls in here to make sure no one dies of thirst overnight. Uh, but yeah, that's all of them. There's a few. <laughs> Pretty successful night, huh? So I took a bit of a nap overnight and this morning we decided to come up here oh they're already starting to take off but fatally obtuso spinosa are flying one of the trimorphics in arizona tons of queen elates out look at all of them and they're starting to take off they're going so hopefully pretty soon we'll start seeing the elates popping up You're just randomly walking around. Yeah, this is great. Myrmecocystis mendax are totally getting ready. Look at that. They're going to go any minute now. Bro, That's really ready. exciting. Yeah, these are great. Hopefully Hello. we can get some, some queens of those. So it's day two. You already know that. I was catching fiddly queens and touch morning queens and all that other good stuff this morning that I showed you. Uh, but I'm here with this guy. This guy here, owner of statesideants.com. You should check it out. Uh, we're tubing up the Nova Messer queens from last night. A whole bunch of tubes going on. Um, but we're still here for a couple more days, so we're going to be catching a lot more ants. I might split it up into two videos, depending on how successful we are. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? We've got more flights. And it's Ocreatus again. Not that I will complain about Campanotus Ocreatus. They're one of the best Campanotus in the state. But uh, it's getting ridiculous. I mean, this is several days now where there have been Ocreatus flights. Look at all the queens climbing up the grass to take off. That is so cool.
Fiddly Cerebrosior are flying in absolutely insane numbers right now. We are finding queens everywhere, both elates and deolates. It's pretty ridiculous, the number that we are coming across. Yeah, we got a pretty decent black light going on. We got mostly just Dory Myrmex and Fiddly Cerebrosior are flying in, but just lots of those two species. And it's just going to get better as the night goes on. This is crazy. I mean, we've been collecting queens all night and finding all these bugs, but this is by far the best black lighting session I've probably ever had. Really? This is ridiculous. <laughs> there's a tarantula hawk, there's moths of all kinds. It's it's crazy. You can just see the sheer number of bugs. A cool chrysina. So cool. Look at all of them. It's nuts. Check this awesome silk moth out that showed up at our light very, very late tonight. One o'clock in the morning and this guy showed up. Pretty dang cool. The colors are, are wild. Even after two incredible nights in a row, this monsoon season nuptial flight was not quite over yet. The second morning, new species were flying that didn't fly the previous morning. It didn't take very long to start finding DL8 queens running around. This is a sad part about Fatal Iraya flights. Nova Messer will usually get their hands on several queens, and there's there's not much that the the Raya can do to fight back. These Nova Messer are vicious, and so there's one over here, and then even just right over here, there's another one. Really disappointing to see, but that's just how nature and and how life goes. So, yep. So as you just saw there, Fidoli Rea had their nuptial flight this morning, which is super exciting. Uh, it's actually the first time that I've seen a flight like happening where I actually saw queens taking off. Um, I've caught queens before, obviously. I have a colony that's over two years old. But uh, yeah, they uh, basically just them and Nova Master Albizitosis flew this morning. So we didn't get much else. Oh, Tracky Mermex as well. Got a couple of Tracky queens. But I think it's an amazing way to round off this trip gonna be heading back home later today so uh i'm not gonna do an outro just yet in case i find some more stuff but that's probably gonna be about it so yeah and about it it was that ended up being the end to one of the most incredible monsoon season anting trips i've ever had now the reason why it took me so long to get this video out only a cool 10 months, is because I lost a lot of the footage, it was stuck on my GoPro. But I was able to recover it and decided this was way too good of a video to scrap. With that, hopefully you guys are excited for this year's monsoon season. I'm hoping 2024 will be as prolific as last year. Of course, until then, I've got some exciting content planned, so be sure to stay tuned. I, of course, want to thank Mr. Stateside Ants for helping me out with uh, this collection trip. His website is in the description. And I'd also like to announce that I have a Discord server now for the YouTube channel. This is mostly just a place to hang out, but also to get feedback on my YouTube videos, as well as post sneak peeks for what's to come. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. Of course, as always, thank you so very much for watching.